And we're back with more Deathmark! Three more days since Hanayome, you know what that means. Oh, we're so alone. Uh. You know, I wonder how many people are going to try to pronounce these Japanese names, but since they're a weeb, they're going to pronounce them wrong? Well, there's no English stuff, so how could they? Hmm. They find a way. Like that last ghost, Hanayomi. Chan. Ah, blood! I just noticed. Oh, I thought he was commenting on the fact that the body's gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, they cleaned up like, what? Let's see, this is chapter four, so. First chapter, then three more days of two, and then three more days of three. three see, secretly, Mary's very good at viscera cleanup. So I guess it's been nine days. Except for the blood. Since she died, perhaps? Well, I don't think Sai is going to be giving us any more clues here. Over a week, so about but, nine days, yeah. About a week and a half at this point, almost. God, my dog at home must be starving. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets tired. <laughs> that never gets old. Hello. Eh, I guess she is somebody, I guess. Oh, Master Key? I was supposed to be looking for it? Oh, it was on the corpse we burned. Oh, shit. Oops. Well, the mansion really isn't going to be giving us much more clues now, except for this locked room, which we can't get in. Do I really need the master key, though? Can I just pick up an axe? Uh... Unless it's like a metal door, in which case, yeah, we're not getting through that. Let's not go Stephen King just yet. <laughs> I don't think Mary would appreciate us, you know, wrecking her house, you know, us a stranger. You know? Lord Slim Shady, what are you doing? Here, Slim! <laughs> hmm. Jesus. Go hey, back. Mary, you're fucking weird. You yeah. ever notice that? Go back to the other portrait. <laughs> I like that one better. I never stopped to think. I'm talking to a doll. This is weird. I had nothing better to do, so let's talk to the fucking doll. No, she found me in an old store. Oh, the guy sure. said, no, don't take it, please, but I bought it anyway. She's been in the mansion forever. Is it the mansion, then, that's got a weird thing going on in it? Or? Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. Starting to think this Sayakujo is the one creating all the ghosts. And her mansion's like a safe haven for them. Stop staring at me. Wait. Did they say she had green eyes? Those are very blue. It's, it's like a very faded green, I guess. Okay, I can kind of see that. Oh, there we go. That's green. Yeah, that's better. Oh, ooh! Someone new has come! Who we got? Okay, very polite. So, uh, don't care much for this next character? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. <laughs> I can see why! <laughs> Hi, Misa. Nah, nothing like that. Why is she saluting? Are they militarizing our idols now? Oh, that's even better. What is that, girls on the Panzer? That, like, are just militarized Moe girls or whatever? Absolutely. He's Madame Yasuoka. Eh. Cool. That is fucking great! 
The real Slim Shady is representing her right now. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> I could be one of your kids! <laughs> Look, Aaron looks just like this! <laughs> Mary just looks up at this idol and says, I think my dad's gone crazy! <laughs> nah, being in the <laughs> Being in the idol business is about as bad as a death mark. <laughs> yeah, forgetting lyrics on stage without the use of drugs. That's gotta be that's gotta be nuts. Alright, so what do you think she is? She's an idol. And that's why you hate her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this ridiculous. I mean, look at the way she's dressed. So she what? has a she has a collar and a necktie, but she has So wh where is this part of the shirt that's supposed to go with that? Hi, I. Are you saying the demon horns and the spikes and the leather are okay? A demon s idol, I can see it. Just take away that and you're good. I mean, what what the fuck is it good at the tie to show she has an upside down cross? Why is she dressed like this? Why is she got the maid frills? Because she's the demon maid. Who cares? Why is everything a maid? Because it's Japan. You should know this. S so why is everything a maid? Because moe culture. <laughs> Suck it. Well, that's a different part of moe culture. Moed culture. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least she's not a cat. <laughs> anyway, my doll that talks, Mary. Uh, talking oh, here. Talking doll right here, Mary. By the way, I'm a ventriloquist. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I'm a ventriloquist. Uh, I'm so stupid. Look at me. I'm Mary. I like to take shits on the couch. <laughs> And then Mary starts throttling you somehow. <laughs> this, is, this is all part of the act! God, I can't remember that character's name from Steins Gate. The cat. Ferris. Ferris! There we go. Ferris Nyan Nyan. Yeah. Well, you see, I, I can stand her a little bit because Because she's, she's in Steins Gate! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which means she's supposed to be cringy, stupid anime bullshit, you know, and she's- kinda... She plays the archetype! She's supposed to be just like Okabe, except worse. <laughs> so we gotta ask her all these questions. We're gonna ask her about how she got this mark. She was at a ghost story special. Ooh. Actually, that would be the perfect setup where she's not really death marked. She just plays one on TV. <laughs> And honestly, what a better way to blend in. Hi, yes, this is the ghost you'll be playing next to. What if, uh, don't touch it. What if I write in my death mark? Or, uh, what if I write in my death note that you get a death mark? Hmm. And That'll it, take some thinking, because that means you can escape your death. You can change a, fate. And then a death knell rings for you. While listening to death metal. You know, I kind of want to think about that right now. Yeah, you could technically escape death. Unless you specified, and there is no stopping it. And then, well, yeah, you're gone. So, uh, she doesn't know much about how she got it. I was, I was just wandering around the back streets, and I just got it. Ooh, H-City. Flips it open. What did you see? Okay, this has to take place in like 2005 or something. At least. Okay, Miyamachi North Road. Hmm, we've gone from the H's to the K's. <sighs> the manhole place! <laughs> manhole Road. Great. A woman holding a Buddha statue was seen there. Ah, yes. Mm. Another ghost. Mm. Let me see it. I wish to see the ghost. Oh no, it's just a sewer level's coming. <laughs> I 
Yep, heading directly to Manhole Road. There may be a spirit trace there. Mm, oh man. But hey, by doing this and heading there, we can maybe figure out about the overarching thing here with the Buddha statues and yeah. the great divine wrath that is being invoked upon this fucking city. I absolutely love it. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Yeah, I'm like 35 in this game. Uh, you don't appeal to my demographic. You know, unless you're a different part of my demographic. You know, I'm successful and cool, so... All right. I love you so much, I John. <laughs> You're my favorite. Make a quick save here, and uh, just head to North Road. You got anything more to say to us, Mary? Hmm. I wonder if Chapter Four's title card will let us know what ghost we're dealing with. We haven't seen it yet, though. Oh, is that? Are they literally taking away the only spoiler I've got? Pretty sure this is just a mid chapter. I wish to see the ghost, please. I think this is just an intermission chapter. I wish to see the ghost, please. Well, let's see what what is there. Cause show uh, me the ghost. Cause uh, let's head to North Road. You gotta be fucking kidding! I want to see the ghost. Taylor, not gonna show me the ghost. Ah, manhole road. Just imagine each manhole probably leads to a different layer of the sewers. Kind of reminds me of how I how I do things in Minecraft. Talk to the talk, talk, loot and talk. Yo, shit. Excuse me, you seen a ghost here? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Don't walk away from me. <laughs> hey, I'll get my talking doll to flag you down. Hmm. hmm. Is it possible that the person also shooting the commercial got bad juju from this? Also got a mark? <laughs> mm. Yay! Speaking of bad juju! So of course a fortune teller would know about the mark. Because she probably reads Oop Arts Monthly. She probably read about the mark like everybody else did. She probably gave it to her too. She's like, oh, you're wearing the wrong colored socks. Boom, death mark. Gotcha. <laughs> See, I don't think Japanese ghosts are that petty. <laughs> they could be petty, but not that petty. Well, many of them are vengeful, I found out. For well, it's a good reason to stay in the mortal realm for a little while longer. Wearing the wrong socks? Probably not. Wearing the socks that my husband wore... After well, you killed him! Well... <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, there's a lot of manholes. Let's try this one. Need a crowbar. Oh, I just happen to have one right here. Is it part of the act? Sure. Let's go with that. I'm not a kleptomaniac. Stop asking. Where'd you steal a crowbar? Also, where's my wallet? I would love it if she hulked out. <laughs> no, 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 I got it. <laughs> what the hell? You're an idol? What kind what of idol are you? Builder? <laughs> so what she's secretly hiding underneath that dress. She's got, like, built anchor legs. Just kicks the manhole open. That actually work? Oh, yeah, it worked. Uh... <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like a crap god! Crap god! Uh, ugh. 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 <laughs> Just got chills. I don't even need a ghost for this chapter. We're going into the sewers. Well, go ahead, mister. Yeah. Go ahead. Then we go. Go oh, right man. ahead. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> oh, fine. Just take it off. Come on. Who's going to see? It's the dead of night. 
Okay, you go first then. Maybe it'll be the part in it, chapter two. See you guys at the bottom. <laughs> Oh, it smells like my fan base down here. No, it smells like Keemstar's fan base down here. <laughs> oh, hey, I do that too. Oh. You know, I kind of thought there would be a bit more water, but this makes too much sense. Where is all the shit smell coming from, then? <laughs> oh, it's coming from our ghost! Oh, that's not rust. Yeah, this doesn't look like any sewer I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a good point. Where's all the nasty? Yeah. Uh... Uh-huh. Alright, so... There's one space forward, multiple spaces back. I'll start by going forward. You just walked out of the sewer. Oh. Oh! Looks like there's a box here. What that? Feel. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it is a box. Am I blind or something? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I, I think touch would be better, you know? Caress the box. Stroke. Open up box. Molest. Tell me up. We got a hammer hatchet and a red notebook. Wow, that's all the inventory we get. Wow, we're ready to take on the ghost now. <laughs> In fact, we turn around, ghost is right there. It's a speedrun I'll just kill. I'll just kill myself. <laughs> I can't read it right now because, you know, there's n nothing that we have. Except the flashlight yeah. that we're holding. Yeah, I mean, how are we gonna, however are we going Holding to up the phone flashlight. Holding up the phone flashlight, how are we ever gonna read this in the dark? Or, you know, the actual flashlight we have? I mean, what? unless the ghosts are gonna be like, uh-uh, none uh. of that. Uh-uh. That is bizarre. Ew. Uh. That's even worse! <laughs> oh, God. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y you got you got me there. In the pants. <laughs> Ew! Ah! Ah! Smell oh, that leeches on everything oh, else. Oh my hammer! My ha oh man! Okay, I want to read the thing for the red notebook. Notebook found the shelter. The, the clean pages have entries written in thin letters. All right, so gross. All right. <laughs> Turn around and start heading back. The other way. Uh. What? It's your career! Huh? Eh. Oh. Eh. Is that hair? I think that's hair. Oh. That's hair. Great. Ah, uh, hair. Hi, Sachiko. Mm. Sadako? Ah! Yeah, that's... Great! Ah, only my flashlight Fucking is fantastic. showing the hair. That's ah. the best ever. Do we need an exorcist or a, or a barber? I mean, I'm not sure. Well, this is authentic horror we're dealing with here. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh. It's the door. Oh, no more hair, just door. Okay, I'll try and open the door then. Well built. It's very well <laughs> built. Thumbs up. Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! But if by ancient you mean like 1975 ish, maybe. Probably like 45 actually. A lab? Don't be stupid. This is a door, not a dog. <laughs> Said in that exact tone. Haha, <laughs> I'm smarter than you. That's not a dog. 
It's, no, it's not. It's, it's the way you're dressed. It's just, ugh. I can't believe that's the thing. It's horrifying, honey. In this game about ghosts, you're like, she's dressed weird. Yeah. In a, <laughs> in a horror game about ghosts and demons, that's the scariest thing. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Those colors just do not match. Except they do. Colors nothing. She has no style is what I'm saying. She needs a Brent. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh! Actually, oh. you're dressed better than she is. Oh, we found where the smell's coming from. <laughs> oh, hey, you were at my concert the other day. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, uh, called it! That's where the poop is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my house! And do your paperwork, my house, gay. <laughs> oh, this is a shelter. Why is it closed off from the outside world? That's what a shelter is. I, I know, but underground. Yeah. It's a shelter. No, okay. If it's an actual homeless shelter, why wouldn't it be in a place where people can find it? Oh, it's not a homeless shelter. It's a bomb shelter. It's a fallout shelter. Oh. Well, that makes more sense. Speaking of sense, that's what we're smelling. Nuclear fallout. Can you go behind the door and stay there? Please! I would love it if we have exhausted every single horror trope and now have to go to describing putrid smells. We're going to a party! <laughs> We've seen just about everything we can. It's just an underground shelter. Nothing too bad here. Open the door. I want to see it. Door's locked. We can't get in, I don't think. But we got the notebook and a hammer and an axe, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's the sense of shit and the dirty, unwashed hobo. Oh, over but what if? Years. What if? Uh, what if? Uh, yes! <gasps> We're a hobo! Why do we know this place? Do we know this place? Why is it so familiar? I mean, it's familiar to me because I know exactly what this place is. I lead the hobos! Uh... No, you're pale. Go out in the sun, you loser. The only sun she gets is from the stage lights. Because she has a very bad life and has to stay inside from all the creepers. Because they lock her in a basement the other times. That's terrible. As soon as her album sales drop, so we does should probably her life stop. quality. We should probably stop. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. We should make a horror film just about the fucking idol culture. They did. I think it's on Netflix. Really? Uh-oh. <gasps> huh. Wait. You're the one that cursed her. Yeah. Hi, can you actually predict this mark leaving my wrist? Thanks. I could, but I forgot. You have a mark, too. Yes. Oh my god, you have a mark. Yes, why would she give herself a mark? Accident. Accident? It's like, bleh, you have a mark. Uh, oh, oops. bleh, what are you <laughs> on about? <laughs> <laughs> bleh. <laughs> well, this is kind of under underwhelming, you know, goes for a death mark. <laughs> You're now going to die, get done! This is Toko Yasuoka. She's a fortune teller and she's... old. She definitely knows me. Dig her necklace, though. And her earrings. That is cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. She knows Miss Cujo, then. Maybe they were working together. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. But it seems the mark is, uh, hit her pretty hard, too. <laughs> That's why she was giving the mark to other people. She forgot it was deadly. <laughs> oh! oh <laughs> Don't I feel silly! Crap! <laughs> But yes, she does indeed have a mark. She doesn't really care, though, because, hey, she's, like, 35. She's lived long enough. Uh, Miss Yosiko, we just dealt with a woman who thought she didn't need to live. You're gonna want it when you find out what this mark does to people. Yeah, well, she, she wants to die because she's, like, literally probably 75 or whatever. <laughs> I need to find out if she's legit. I like that quote. Yeah, we know nothing about peace in this game. Uh, I've survived three marks. Mm -hmm. Does that count? A mysterious voice. Oh, you know? and that. <laughs> Every so often, there's like a mysterious voice that tells us stuff, you know, like death and vice and death. <laughs> it's the game, des blood it's the game designers just knocking on our brain. Okay. Hello? Are we hearing God? Oh. Or is it just some spirit whispering? But what spirit is whispering to us? Mm. You lost the game. Mm. I hate these spirits. Who is talking to us? When we, when we get that red text, who is that? Most likely a vengeful spirit. Hmm. It's, I don't think it's... I don't think it's random. Should be somebody we know, but there's no way we would know. It's Cujo. You think? Yeah. Not any way we'd be able to know. I mean, hey. To live long and prosperous. To get rid of my mark. Yeah, about that. I just checked your future, and well. Well. I hope I wrote the rest on this post-it note. Yeah, check it. Now I have two dolls that talk. <laughs> Aha! You're familiar! Yeah, one of them whose joints you can see, one of which whose ribs you can see. Well, uh, we got nothing here. Cool. So let's go. Let's go. Back to the mansion! Talk about our next move. Da, Maybe da, these da, two da, da, da. have something in common. And we can find the next spirit and find the next way to cure our death mark and not die. I murdered Miss Cujo here. Wait. 20 years ago she came here. She's a family friend. There's no way she'd kill Cujo. If you're, if you're, suspic if you're suspecting this character, it's unfounded. Look, I've played enough Phoenix right to know you can't trust anybody. It's because she's old you don't trust her. I know because I thought the same thing too. <laughs> but no, she's just a fortune teller. Family friend of Cujo. You know, no ill will. She's just... weird. Actually, I think I can trust these people because nobody has a pun name. <laughs> So the Murasames died? Oh, yeah. How badly? Oh! That's even worse. Mm. It literally is a death note. Yep. So a big cloud hangs over this family. Am I secretly part of the Kujo family? That means everybody else would be, too. Hmm. Just because you get a mark doesn't mean that you're connected. I mean, not everyone's been, been connected to the mansion well, so far. Well, I, I mean just our rotten luck. <laughs> That's why we keep getting the mark. Is this Divine Wrath? Or... Huh, maybe this place used to be a temple and it got demolished to place a mansion. Uh... 
Uh. Mm. Set black rabbit at. Don't. I want that key. Uh oh. Give me the key, rabbit. Looks like the black rabbit decided to pay a house visit. The spirit of my mother. Gah! <sighs> Just hanging on that for a bit. Hmm. Okay. Everything's all right so far. Take inventory. Okay. Nobody's dead. Rabbit's in the mansion. Mary's okay. still assembled. Okay. Mary's gone. Uh. Son of a bitch. Is she chasing the rabbit? Uh. Mary. No! Holy shit! Well, at least she caught the rabbit. They're both dead. Sheesh. Well, that's horrific. Well, great. Our one lead and our guide are both gone. Are both gone. <laughs> great. No, <sighs> this is great. We're screwed. I'm t <laughs> wonderful, wonderful news. Yes, great. I'm so excited. We're fucked. Well, I'm glad you got to meet Mary. I, she's gone now. See, this is like chapter five level shit. No, this is just the preamble to chapter four. So who do we talk to now? I don't know. We we'll talk to the sofa. <laughs> we, we can always talk to Marshall. Who? Marshall Mathers. Who dat? You have not listened to enough Eminem music. Well, I know who that is. Lord Slim Shady can talk to Marshall Mathers! Come on, man. O only Slim Shady, who dis? <laughs> was it the key Mary was holding? Yep. Ding ding. Well, at least we got one thing out of this. Sacrifice two pieces to get one piece back, you know. It's almost like she was hiding it. Hmm. Ooh, oh. The rabbit was. Maybe. Hmm. This is actually kind of interesting. We have an entire chapter basically taking place in the mansion. <laughs> hmm. I like that. Well, like I said, this is basically the halfway mark of the, of, uh, the game. So this is kind of like an intermission. Intermission? Nothing. Stuff's happening. Stuff's happening in an intermission. But we're taking a second to tie, tie a few loose threads together and uh, get some new intrigue going as we uh, step into Chapter 4.
This is the one place we couldn't get into. Just another typical guest room. But we've been... forbidden from coming in here? What's so weird about this place? It's just some tools. And maybe some photos over there. Let's check the desk. Let's check the desk first, yeah. Voodoo dolls? Mountain King. No. Oh. Murasame and Masamune. Mm. So this is a family tied to making Buddha statues. Imagine that. The Buddha statues are at the crew of what's causing this divine wrath, so... Did we make them wrong, or did they, like, not get the diameter right? If you take out the guys who make the Buddha statues, well then, you as a demon could run free. Oh! That's worse. Uh-huh. Can we show this on YouTube? It's just a doll. But it seems Mary, too, had a death mark. Oh, wow, she did. Didn't even notice that. Hmm. Maybe she, she was a test subject? Maybe she used to have the mark? few more points of intrigue for uh, our own story, I'd say. What's this lead to? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's just a red herring. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you, Deathmark! Turns out Chapter 5 is a new protagonist. Stick with I for the rest of the story. It's a side-scroller. <laughs> wait, wait it's, it's I, so it's a dance sim. Yes! This is where I come in. And this is where I get out. Well, let's read this notebook we have, at least. <coughs> what? It's the book! Uh, and that stinks, too! Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can make out anything. Um, you just lost the g I'm done, sorry. Wow. Pulled that out from 2008. But this is the story of Miss Zoo. Wow, that was all lead up to the title card. Uh-huh. That's all this was. Snakes, huh? Oh my, I just realized something. What did you just realize? 
Well, let's go back to chapter one. We're going back to chapter one. Sweet. And this time we're going to take the second floor. Oh, good. Oh, good. The one filled with snakes. Oh, good. And Asura. Uh-huh. And death. So this is like a hardcore Buddhist here. And Apparently using the power of these uh, Buddha statues, or whatever this Asura is, related to Buddha, I'm sure, and the Buddha statues. I swear we've killed so many Buddhas as Asura that it should be the other way around. Well, I guess that's how they get their revenge a little bit. Oh, and the last part of this page says, Shut up, Wizen. <laughs> Maybe it just keeps, you know, going on and you can press circle to just stop reading. It's like, That's <laughs> enough! <laughs> I grow tired of my own name! <laughs> yeah, passion is pretty gross. It would probably go up pretty well. It's soaked in perfume. Oh, yeah. Ooh, rumors. So maybe this Miss Zoo is who gave these two their death mark. Juicy rumors. I could hazard a guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if I had to guess at BH Elementary? Yeah. Is there any, like, penalty for getting things wrong? Well, yeah, you die. Oh. But this kind of stuff, nah. Uh, it's. I think this is like, no, you idiot, it's age elementary. Okay, uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, do you have to get every single piece right for the ending to come out correct? Or is it just, like, the fight? Uh, ju just the fights. Okay. Pretty much. And, of course, the liver dies. Do those right and you don't die, you know. You live. I mean, there might be, you know, a, a choice or two that uh, might lock you into a, to something if you didn't do everything, but... Ooh. You know, a well-timed save here and there will fix that problem. You know, now that I'm reading this, a common ghost that dealt with snakes fusing with the god Asura <laughs> sounds very bad. And angry. Well, this is pretty much a a uh, wrathful spirit crossed with the power of Buddha and Asura. That's worse. So, um... Oh my god, that's worse. I don't think that uh, we're going to be dealing with any namby-pamby spirit here. Yeesh. Well, next time on Deathmark, we begin the investigation into Miss Zoo. See you next time.